Hi everyone and welcome to Unhinged. Today we have a really exciting session for you. Just Pay Hiring Challenge is just around the corner and if you are thinking of cracking that challenge, you are in for a treat. Today we have with us Yuvraj Singh, one of the top performers of Just Pay Hiring Challenge 2024. Yuvraj's journey is full of insights, tips, strategies and everything you need to crack this challenge. So let's call upon Yuvraj. Hi. Hi. Hi Yuvraj. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, so uh, before we start, Yuvraj, um, why don't you just share something about yourself with us, something that you would like our viewers to know? Okay. So I'm a software engineer at JustPay. And before JustPay, I have also been a Smart India Hackathon winner and have worked with multiple startups. And yeah. yeah. Awesome. Thank you for sharing. Um, okay. So let's just dive in. And um, uh, let's go back to where it all started, right? Uh, yeah. Tell us, how did you stumble upon this opportunity and what made you go for it? Okay, so I was casually scrolling through my LinkedIn feed where I got a post from Unstop that just pays hiring for software engineer interns through their hiring challenge. So I always wanted to work in a fintech startup. So that's why I went through it and I casually applied to it and also sh shared with my friends this opportunity. That's 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 so interesting. You yeah. you just stumbled upon it. So it's it's great yeah. to uh, know how sometimes you know the best opportunities come our way in the most unexpected ways. Yeah, yeah. Like I was going to sleep and I was scrolling through my LinkedIn for some reason and then I stumbled upon it. Oh, that that's that's really interesting to know. And how did your friends, your college, your family, how did they react to the final offer letter when you got okay, the final? So offer? when I applied, I casually applied for it. I didn't think too much and I didn't tell anyone also. And when all of the rounds from Unstop were like cleared from my side. So I got a call from HR that uh, my interview is being scheduled. So I was going home that day. And then I told my parents that I'm going to go for the interview for this. And then uh, it went pretty well, the interviews. There were two interviews. So they went pretty well. And the, then they were like so surprised and happy at the same time. Oh, I can imagine. I can. That must have been really exciting, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. Like I was with my mother and we were in a restaurant. And like I got the call from HR that I have been selected. So it was like a very good time for me. Like, <laughs> sure, sure, sure. We can imagine. Yeah. Great. Um, let's shift gears, um, Yuvraj, and talk about uh, the actual challenge, right? Yeah. Um, so the challenge has three main rounds: the MCQ, mm. uh, coding, and an interview round, right? Um, yeah. Which of these was the toughest for you, and why? Okay. So uh, in interviews, there were two interviews basically. So I think the interview rounds were the toughest because one of the interview went for like six hours for me. And it was not exactly an interview. It was more like a hackathon. You'll be assigned a mentor and they will uh, guide you through the problem statement. And the problem statement is, is also not like a lead code hard problem or something taken directly from DSA. It tests your DSA, obviously, and your CS fundamentals as well, like the parts from OS and system design. So it was like a very challenging PS for me. OK, OK, right. Yeah. Right. So like we know, every round has its own unique pressures. So yeah. uh, you have to take them one by one. OK. Yeah. Because it was so different from other companies uh, like hiring thing, because they mostly ask a few DSA questions in their interviews, but they went for like a complete hackathon round to check whether how you fit in the team and how you discuss your problems and how you come up with the solutions. So I think that was pretty good and also challenging at the same time. Hmm. Sure, sure, sure. It must must have been. Um, so speaking of which, um, let's take a closer look of each stage uh, one by one. Yeah. So like you uh, talked about, like the first round round was the MCQ, the screening round, right? Um, yeah. Any specific topics or prep strategy that you have when you had this round in mind? OK, so MCQ rounds consist of questions basically from your CS score. So you get questions from DVMS, you get questions from OS, and, obvi and obviously some coding questions, like not exactly a big DSA problem. You will be getting like some snippets, and you will be asked to provide an output for that. So I would say uh, one should prepare for like uh, whatever they study in their BTEC, they need to prepare it quite well to go glide through these MCQ rounds. So that was your MCQ round preparation. Uh, moving yeah. on to the next one was the coding round. Um, any strategy for that? Because we know that coding round, uh, you have to manage both time and uh, your accuracy. How was your journey? How? What were okay. any tips? Yeah. So as far as I remember, it was of around 90 minutes, and you were given like three problems. And one was easy, other was medium, and the last one was hard one. So I would say the timing is really important because you have to solve like one question in 30 minutes. So you get total 90 minutes. So uh, they were mostly based on DSA. And I, if, to be precise, they were based on trees, graphs, and more of basic arrays and strings. So if you have gone through these topics, then you should be able to clear it. And also for time management, I would say what I followed was I first uh, like coded the entire thing in my mind. And I had a pen and paper. So I did dry runs uh, in pen and paper. Then I went to code it because uh, the typing takes too much of time and you have to manage the time. So that was my strategy in this round. 
right right okay okay so um that mental strategy must have really helped you to get yeah. in this yeah yeah right right uh good so um the next one was the interview the final interview i know yeah. makes most people nervous um what actually happens in the final interview what was your experience okay so for interviews there are two interviews uh, first one i think i already covered the hackathon part where you will be assigned a mentor and in the final interview it, for me it was mostly based on the system design and compiler design and also questions from your uh, cs subjects like os dbms and computer network so it went pretty well i mean they asked everything from os to me and uh, i think to get through the last round you need to have a very solid grasp on your cs core subject especially and obviously system design is important system design is important okay that yeah. that's some solid advice from you raj yeah. i think our viewers can just note down the topics and see where they need to put maximum efforts um great so um looking back now that you you've done it uh, you've raj what's the one thing um, that you had wished uh, you had known earlier about this competition like any common mistake that future participants should avoid um, okay like so uh see whenever you uh, go for an interview or any hiring thing you think of they will be asking dsa so dsa is important they ask it but uh, like just say you usually covers all parts of uh, your computer science not just dsa so whenever you are going for the interview or the whole hiring challenge uh, just prepare everything whatever you studied in your btech and whatever you even they can sometimes ask questions from your uh, 12th physics and stuff so okay. you need to prepare well for it and uh, just uh yeah prepare well for your core subjects and dsa that's it so you're saying the fundamentals are as important yeah fundamentals okay. are very important okay okay and uh, even your 12th class fundamentals that is also yeah like important. that is like uh 10% of it but 90 in 90% if i'll say then 45 is your fundamental and 45 is your dsa okay that, that that's a substantial uh, figure okay yeah that, Right, right. As you've Raj said, uh, DSA is also one of the important topics. So, for those of you who are interested in DSA, we have a special 30-day DSA bootcamp where we break down data structures and algorithms into simple beginner-friendly lessons. So, um, we'll share the link in the description, and you can just check it out. Um, nice. So, coming to the end of the session with you, you've Raj, um, do you have any quick tips? Because I know there'll be so many of our viewers looking up to you for those tips and hacks. And somebody who's performed so well in the last season, uh, I think com tips coming from you mean a lot. So, anything, any specific tips you'd like to share? Yeah, just uh, take take out seven days or eight days uh, before the interview or before the MCQ and uh, revise your fundamentals because whatever you would have studied in your like second second year or third year, you might have forgotten most of the things. So, revise everything. There are YouTube playlists available for like. every part and just prepare your fundamentals and dsa in those eight days and don't directly jump in for the mcq or like these coding rounds and also don't use chat gpt in your coding round because that is uh, flagged by most of the you know these exam taking websites like hacker earth or even unstop might be doing it also so yeah right 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 so um the crux of it is fundamentals must be clear revision is the key and stay away from chat gpt especially yeah. when you you can use it for preparation like it's pretty good if you like give it the i want cs fundamental questions i want os interview problems so they give like proper question answer q anything so you can study from that but don't use it while you are in a coding round or any of the interview rounds absolutely absolutely right so um i think um that's some very insightful um advice from yuvraj and um, i'm sure our viewers are will find them incredibly useful um, as they get up for their own journey and um, thank you so much for joining us today wish you all the best for your future journey and you have been doing great and you'll do great yeah thank, thank you so shreya for having me thank you thank you so much and for those of you watching don't forget to like share and subscribe to unhinged for more such inspiring stories